Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and today I am participating in the fun community, you know, challenge to invite new Power Apps people into the community. So one of the things about the challenge requirements is that you need to go ahead and put uh, the hashtag, uh, the two hashtags, uh, so that you can participate in the um, the challenge. Um, so the question for this week was actually a pretty good one. It is, uh, what tips and tricks do you wish you knew when you first started working with Power Apps? Um, so as I pondered on this for a while. Um, it just dawned on me that this is actually a very simple question. Uh, one of the things that I did um, was focus on a small app for a small department. And it works even easier if it's an existing app. Um, scenarios could be, you know, this is a third party application or a homegrown application, which really needs some tender loving care right now. Um, it could just be an Excel spreadsheet with some kind of form on it, or it could even be an old InfoPath designer form working on a SharePoint list. So. The key thing over there is you already have the requirements, right? There's already a form, there's already a business, talking to them and then maybe even taking it to the next level by building a uh, mobile app. You know, that could really be a good way to kind of start working on Power Apps over there. The other one is reverse engineering existing templates. And this is something that I did a lot because there are already existing templates available on Power Apps. There's a whole bunch of templates available in the user community over there, some of which I've provided. Go over there, download it, you know, then you can see that, okay, how did Daniel do that? And then you can actually say that, oh, in the on button over there, on the on select function, this is the formula that he used, and that's how he was able to accomplish, you know, this feature and this task. Um, and that is basically how I've learned a whole lot. Existing templates are available. There's a whole bunch on the user community. Download it, play with it, do some reverse engineering. And then finally, get connected. There are so many user groups now, and they are spread up all across the globe. Um, we have our own power addicts over there, and they've just exploded in the past one year. Getting connected is the fastest way to learn uh, because you can share ideas. You can hear ideas from other people. You know, it was probably the same scenario that you got stuck. Now you know what he or she did. And the other thing which you'll do very soon is you'll start sharing your ideas as well, and then you'll become a big help for other people. So these are the three things that I've heavily used, and hopefully these will help you as well.